hello to everyone we are going to perform an experiment on full adder experiment of digital electronics so first of all what is full adder full adder is a device for electronic cassette which is used to add the two binary numbers the binary numbers can be n bit long so first of all let us place the ic 7483 which is a pcd adder ic go to component then go to dtl series 74 ls83 or ls83 values 74 ls83 is the ic okay so it is a 4 bit ic consist of a4 a3 a2 a1 as a 4 bit to pay and these are the input pay okay so it is a four variable ic can also say that so it has total of 16 inputs can have 16 input in bcd adder input from 0 to 9 are valid input and from 10 to 15 are invalid bcd inputs okay. so we are going to give input from these pins 1 3 8 10 and 16 4 7 11 and this is a carry pin and these are the sum output and this is the carry output so we are going to place switch component go to basics switch spdt switch okay now change the display in order to hide all the levels from this okay now flip is horizontal or it has been flipped horizontally copy make its eight copy for eight inputs ctr plus wait ctr plus v third input ctr plus v fourth input ctr plus v fifth input ctr plus v sixth input ctr plus v seventh input ctr plus v eighth input now place the vcc and ground base component vcc go to sources vcc here we go place component we place the ground to okay ground to place so connect one terminal to ground and another terminal to the vcc change the color of the ground by going to segment color black okay, okay fine now connect this to vcc this also to vcc connect this to vcc so on this also to vcc connect this to vcc this one also to vcc this one to vcc and remaining to ground so we have made a switch which is used as a input few more few more time we are got that okay so give it the um, as a input so this is a a4 input pin number 1 pin number 1 pin number 3 second input second bit third one and now this is the fourth one Similarly, connect this pin so to B4, B3, B2, and B1. Connect the same pin to ground originally. Okay. now these are the output pins and this is the carry pin now we are going to have a three condition while we are designing a full adder using sun 483 these three condition are case one when sum is greater than 9 okay so sum is less than 9 and carry zero 
setting case to sum is greater than 9 will be equal to 9 greater than and equal to 9 then I and carry is equal to 1 and case 3 is and sum is less than equal 9 and carry is equal 1 so for, for if the condition is first one then we are not required to have another dcd id header but if the condition is our second then we have to add s plus 6 for these two conditions for case 2 and case 3 we have to add extra 0 1 1 0 Okay, why we are going to add this extra 0110? Just because BCD has valid input from 0 to 9. From 10 to 15, those are invalid BCDs or they are 6 in number. That's why we are going to add extra 6 in those cases. Okay, so it means we require one more BCD header. So copy and we are going to paste it here. CT error plus V paste. This will be the input to this second one. It will be input to this set three. It will be input to this in six. It will be input to this. Okay, these are our final sum, which is the output, and this is the. Uh, it is. In, we are not required to after this carry out. So now, these are the four input. We are going to give six extra six by this four input. So connect 16 and 15 and sort. We are going to sort them and connect them to uh, ground. And we are going to sort these two also. So copy it from here. Copy. So general pursuit base. Connect these two pin to ground. Okay, and this remaining two we will discuss is where we open up. These are the output pins, so place one flow which is the indicator for the output. So go to so uh, indicator, go to indicator, close back. Okay, now we are going to place the four plus one extra for carry. So we'll remove this levels first. Yeah, go back. Okay. CTRL plus A, we have to move a little bit toward this direction so we get extra space. Copy CTRL plus V paste, CTRL plus V paste, CTRL plus V paste, V paste. So these are the four, some output and this for can So S4, next MSP to LSP. This is MSB, this is LSP. Okay. So connect S2, third one, S1, two, last one. Okay. So I have already told about you that BCD has valid input from zero to now. So for we have to design a K map for that. For 0 to 9, the output of for 0 to 9, output should be 1. Output is 1. And from 10 to 15, output is 0. Using KMAP, we get output equation as y equal to S4, S3, plus S3, S2. Okay. Use the KMF for this. 10 to 15 output is 0, 0 to 9 output is 0. So we will get a S1, S3, 4 input variable KMF. Okay. So accordingly, we will connect those pins, the S4 and S3. Before that, we will 
place those as per a street to the end gate. So before that, we are going to place a end gate component go to and TTL series 7432. 7, 4, RS, 3, 2. This is OR gate. We are required to place AND gate. OR gate we require place cancel. Place components on 4 is 0, 8, AND gate. 408. Okay, so we require them to be number B. Okay, so connect pin number two to one input, pin number fifteen, which is as four, pin number eleven, two, and pin number six. So we have connected them. Now we have two place and junction here. Place junction here. Now what we are going to do? We are going to give the we output of this and give to the input of or it is clear from that equation which we get from the K map how this we get this or it is from the K map equation to connect one to this and one or uh, this is the carry output of the first letter to this and now connect the final carry this will be the final carry connect it to this final carry leave it blank and then it to ground now uh, connect C not ground and connect this the output of this gate place junction this will add extra 6 sorry I think we have done it somewhat wrong we are going to connect this delay place we are going to delete this too. We are going to delete this and connect this to pin to ground and this to pin to this sort. We are going to give extra six. Okay. So from the Taking a little bit of time, but no worry, we'll get that soon fixed. Okay, so this is the final diagram. Now you are going to verify the before that, just place this value of key, give it A, B, value B, C, value C. Value SD ABCD value X E okay F value S F Z value Z and value H okay now we are done with that A B C D E F G H now we, sort of, now we verify the truth table so when we are giving the input 1001 0010 A4 is 1 A4 is 1 so A4 is 1 and B2 is 1, B2 is 1, B2, where it is, B2 is 1, 
CD, EFG, between simulate front, we are getting S4 and S2. You can see S4 and S2 are right. Now checking the other one, 1000 and 100. Only we will get a carry. So this is one. 0, 0, 0, and this will is e. So e 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0. This time the output which has come has 6 as extra added to it because the sum is greater than 9 and carry is also there. So we get the equation from this when the both sum are all the sum inputs are 0, 1, these are the valid ACD sum up to 9, then after that it will be 1, this will be invalid. So depending on this, from this we get this equation y equal to s4, s3, s3, s2. Okay. Thanks for watching.